it's time. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Ah, there it is. <laughs> okay. Well, anyway, uh, might as well. You know what? Let's just let's just chroma key this guy out of here. Oh, you, you, can, you can sit there. You can sit there. You know. But anyway, so uh, you're probably wondering what is the final lineup of games for Seven Days of Book Games? So, well, uh, you're gonna see a bit of a restreaming actually, and it's kind of funny. This is in, this was in 2018, I believe, and I was streaming a game and I never uploaded the VOD because I was like. Well, it's incomplete. I, I was, wasn't like proud of it. So I'm like, I'm gonna do this like two years later, and I'm gonna do it right. So, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna do Clock Tower for SNES. That's right, and we're gonna finish it with the S ranking ending. Uh, Clock Tower, of course, is a legendary game, and it's a very, very good game. Um, it is uh, later play PlayStation, and I think the Wonder Swap. But anyway, this is a survival horror game, and it's uh, it's pretty damn good. Uh, and I did it for Sp Seven Days of Book Games, but again, I never uploaded the VOD. So instead, this time, we are going to be playing it properly. So, uh, yes. Anyway, S rank. Welcome to the 24-hour stream, boys. Okay, well, I'm going to give a little caveat. I will be using a walkthrough for this. Because the S ranking is going to require a lot of like, hey, do not, do not check out uh, that window or whatever. But uh, you know, uh, <laughs> um, but it's a spoiler-free one. It's a spoiler-free one. Now I have seen this game in the ending, but I don't have. Well, that's not English. I have not uh, done this myself. But I've seen Arena from Game Center CX play it, and I'm sure a lot of you guys have as well. But the good thing is that if you've never seen this game before, we're gonna pretty much play it kind of blind-ish. And we'll get the best ending as well. So you're gonna get the best ending on a most spooky Halloween. Um, unrelated, by the way, does this microphone, microphone sound a little better tonight? Yes. Well, do you know why? Because for a year with this microphone, I had the game cranked up all the fucking way. So, <laughs> uh, now you don't hear less of the fan in the background. So, um, you know. But, uh, yeah, you probably don't even notice a difference, really. But, anyway, uh, we're going to be playing Clock Tower, as I said. And, on top of that, we have two additional games uh, tonight. It's actually three. That's right. A Halloween spooktacular. Ooh, spooky and stuff. But anyway, I hope you guys have um, have uh, prepared for the stream. I'm sure you've gotten all kinds of candy and, and snacks. Myself, I got a... I'm not even kidding. L l ready for this? It's a <laughs> two kilo plastic box that they have in the candy store of Swedish fish. Um, <laughs> not the candy, that is. It is heavy. Uh, so I'm going to be snacking on this throughout the night. Um, and I also got, um, I got a chocolate that I've never tried before. And it's an American chocolate, in fact. It is called a Hershey Cookies and Cream Chocolate Bar. And, uh, well, I'm looking forward to that. But I will only be eating it... Oh, uh, well, people saying, ew? Is, people don't like that? Ew, ew, ew. Those are disgusting. It's disgusting. Ew, ew, ew. What? <laughs> it's not good? Okay, well, I guess it's my punishment for beating the game then. Well, that's going to be a little interesting. But anyway... Halloween. Vomit flavor. <laughs> Okay. Well, anyway, let us play the creepiest, crawliest games tonight. Maybe I'll do my Halloween voice throughout the entire stream. It's kind of like Orson Welles meets uh, Christopher Lee and uh, the local heroin addict. Blah. Okay. Enough of that. You might notice that the chair is a little squeaky today. <laughs> I should have, I should have, just for this stream, like, sat on, like, a skull throne, but then, like, what's the joke? You guys can hear it anyway. <laughs> yeah, commit to a joke that nobody will, like, understand, but, yeah, sure. 
Okay. Anyway, before I begin, I just want to show you something, or I want to let you listen to something. My neighbors are having a Halloween party right now, and they are fucking blasting music, and it's midnight. And I, I just shot this. You have to listen to this. I, I shot this in the hall. Uh, you probably can hear that anyway. But I'll, here, here's what the actual audio sounds like. Hang on. <laughs> I don't know what's going on, what kind of blood orgy is happening next door, but... <laughs> well, if only this, this, this dude next door would know that he's like on a stream in front of 3,000 people right now, he'd be like, what? <laughs> he'd probably be like, yo, can I stream? <laughs> <laughs> I let I let them have a party, of course. Like um, I'm a dickhead, and I I make a lot of noise, so I, I let them get away with anything they want, as long as there's not smoke emitting from the uh, the neighbor's apartment. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna burn as well, so that's not cool. But uh, I let them just blast as much shit as they want. Anyway, I talked enough. I talked enough, and we're gonna be playing Clock Tower. Okay, now that th that, that Tinker is done coming, uh, let's let's play it. <laughs> Hang on, let me just restart. Is it? Let's just begin completely anew. Okay, here we go. Yes, now now we are back in business. We are ready to go. Yes, everything is fine and good. Anyway, as I said, Clock Tower is a is a bit of a underrated classic. This was a Japanese only game, and uh, it's translated a while ago, but it's in English now. But it was just a Japanese exclusive game, and uh, well, it's a it's a real gem. It's a real gem. However, I do believe that Clock Tower on the PlayStation One was released worldwide. Maybe, not sure about it though. Not sure about it. Uh, I think there was a sequel as well to this, um, but it was more like a Resident Evil style 3D game. I might be completely wrong about that, though. I think I am wrong about that, in fact. But 95, pretty late in the... Uh, well, not that late, really, but, uh, you know, just a year before... Uh, Yahoo! Okay, quick start, ending list. So this game has nine endings, uh, I believe, and the S ranking, which I will be trying to get in here tonight. Well, uh, again, I'll be using a kind of a guide for this. It's not going to be a completely like spoilery guide. It's more like, go here, you dumb fuck. Uh, so maybe if I fuck this up, we'll still get the A ranking or B ranking or whatever. But anyway, let's... Uh, let us play. Raced in the granite. Orphanage, Jennifer and her friends. This game also has a fantastic score. Adopted daughters. It happened in September. You guys ready for the scariest thing about this game, by the way? It takes place in Norway. <laughs> Laura, hurry up! We want to be there before sunset. Okay, that's atmosphere. Shatters like glass. <laughs> Mrs. Marty. <laughs> yes. From now on, what kind of place will we be living in? I'm really trying with my voice acting tonight. Okay. That's the fifth time you asked. <laughs> Don't worry. It's a very nice place. I sound like Brian Butterfield. The Butterfield Diet. We're almost there, see? Okay, I'll, I'll stop taking the piss out of this. We're gonna have another game tonight that's gonna have a lot of bad voice acting, and I won't have to do anything there, because uh, that game's just gonna be a little funny. But, uh, there we go. Uh, narrate in your best Norwegian accent. Uh, well, then, then it would be too funny. What a huge place! Uh, hmm. Yeah! <laughs> My neighbors are drunk off their asses right now. Everyone, wait here! Okay, uh, you're, you, the voice sounds like a 70-year-old woman named Mildred. <laughs> 
I like that. Mildred. Okay. I have Norwegian place to a Norwegian accent. Well, I can actually speak Norwegian, but... Uh, so, um, anyway, here we go. Anyway, so let's let's talk to my friends here. Huh? So this 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 the, the inventory here or the the way this game is played is a little uh, streamlined. In fact, well, I don't know if streamlined is the best uh, way of describing this, but there's no like open close stuff like that. Take you. <laughs> you have to hear this. There's no way you guys aren't hearing this. Hang on, just pause it. <laughs> could you could you imagine could you imagine if you went over there and be like Excuse me, I'm trying to play a scary video game. Can you please pipe it down? And they're like, just punch me in the head, you know. Anyway, let's 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 play it. I'm sorry, I'm sorry for the interruption here. But it's a little funny to me, and it's a little funny to me. But it'll it'll add an unintentional layer of comedy to this. What is it? Is something wrong? Yeah, my neighbor. This house uh, makes me uneasy. Oh, yeah. Hey, Anna. You want to know what kind of guy Mr. Barrows is, right? Yeah. Hey. <laughs> can you go find Mrs. Mary? Hey. Can you? Okay, fine, 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 fine. So there might be some stuff in here that I need to essentially click on to make sure that I got the best ending. Uh, and I'm not exactly sure what this is. I'm reading right now. It says, Mrs. Mary tells Jennifer and her friends to stay put as she goes to find Mrs. Barrows. That's a simple task. Now, oh wow, the night will be a breeze if anything that's simple, right? Of course. Uh, and it's just, be sociable, talk to your friends. Uh, oh boy. So nothing yet. Uh, I love I love the uh, the quietness of this game. Um, horror for me is all about atmosphere, and there's no real jump scares in this game. It's just a lot of atmosphere, and that I, I love that. Are the sequels any good? I never played the sequel. No, I never did. I'll talk to my my friends here. Doesn't that look like a picture of Skeletor in the background? <laughs> what happened to Mrs. Mary? Okay, well. Talk to this person over here. Oh, yeah. Mary, she's taking a long time. Should I go find Miss Mary? Yeah, sure. No. I'll go look for her. Okay, well. Hmm. I guess we're going exploring. Well. Is there a run in this? I, I gotta figure out the controls here real quick. Like, it's not a double tap either. I think it comes later when you're not like in casual mode. Yeah. No. Okay, I think there's gonna be a scream coming and that's when you know shit's getting real. Okay. Alright, check the door. Hmm? Locked. Is there a horror game without any locked doors? Uh, rhetorical question, of course, but... <laughs> Hold on and tap the action button to spin dash. Yeah. Okay, noth nothing so far. Oh yeah, I think it, it's coming right here. It's gonna be like a scream and then everything goes wrong. Double click, well, it, it doesn't work yet, guys. It doesn't work yet. Double tap to run. There we go. Mary, she's taking a long time. All right, there we go. I'm gonna go left, in fact. Uh, yeah, 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 for sure. Okay, no, I'll, I'll do it, I'll do it, I'll do it. I'll go look. Come on. 
shift to sprint. <laughs> Here we go. Ah, yes. Hmm. I guess we're just going here. <gasps> oh my god. The main hall? Oh man. Girls? Come on, this isn't funny. You know, this could have turned into the greatest Scooby Doo adventure ever. Okay, now I can run. There we go. Alright, now we're kicking ass. Oh man, so in this game, uh, do you guys remember when I played Haunting Ground? The game kind of has, uh, this This kind of like started Haunting Ground in a way. There's going to be uh, a certain enemy in this game that a lot of people know about. But uh, you'll see him soon, you'll see him soon. Okay, come on, come on now. Okay, we already know that the door is locked, though, so that's that. Um, this game is inspired by the movie Phenomena with Jennifer Connelly. Really? I didn't know that. Uh, Bacon says, you're not playing this with a SNES mouse emulated? <laughs> that could actually be pretty good, but uh, no, I'm not doing that. It's not Mario Paint, okay? I'll be painting with blood! Okay, same painting of Skeletor in the back. It does really look like Skeletor, doesn't it? Okay. Uh oh. So I think. Oh Jesus Christ! Uh, the other side's too far away. Just, just sidle. <laughs> you know, when I played Wind Waker, I thought they spelt slide wrong when Link goes, you know, on on the wall. And I thought, hey, Nintendo fucked up. <laughs> I'm like, wait, sidle is a different word? Okay. Um, oh, my headphones. Uh, I've never heard sidle before. Sidle. He sidled. Okay. Well, we're going to check the front door again. Maybe it'll be unlocked this time. Probably not. Uh, Joel thinking he knows English. <laughs> Hey, I take great offense to that. I took, I take good England and I say words. Okay, hmm? Still locked. All right, well, we won't be going this way then. Uh, all right, well, we're gonna go over here instead. Uh, I speak language good. So, so this game has a lot of cockroaches and weird shit, in, I believe, in it later. So if, you, if you're squeamish about that, uh, maybe not the string for you. Or maybe the stream for you, in fact. Ooh, scary, yeah. All right, let's go in here and check out what we got in here. No, 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 <laughs> no. What the hell? Uh, okay. Hmm. Go in there. Okay, there we go. Now we're kicking ass, maybe? No, <laughs> no, no, don't do that. Oh my god, guys, this this could just be a scary Pac-Man 2 game. Look! Look! Oh god, we're back to this. <laughs> I think... Okay, there we go. We actually gotta press the, the handle of the door to actually get through. That's what it is. Okay. The lights are out. Where's the switch? Comfortable sofa. Hmm. How about that? Oh man. Okay. Let me just look at the walkthrough because we're going for the best ending and it requires a little bit of this and that uh, that I need to do, right? So I'm going to be checking just in case. Hang on. Uh, once you hear a scream, you'll find out that your friends are missing from the full year. It may just seem like a joke, but like any but like any good friend, you'll want to figure you want you'll want to find them ASAP. Just in case, check the entire for you if you're a perfectionist. Well, I really am not, so alright. When you finish when you finish searching for your through the door that Jennifer originally left through, and then into the next door in the far left, from this hall go into the living room. Search the box in the chest. As there may or may not be a West Wing key. If not, you'll find it later. And if so, don't worry if it doesn't appear in the inventory. As I've said before, many keys won't. So, this game has a bit of a uh, random aspect to it, I guess. Hmm. 
Oh man. <laughs> All right, let's see what's inside here. Uh, there's a key in here. Well, okay. Pocket of the West Wing key. Okay. Whenever I think of uh, West and East, the only thing I think of is where is China and where is America? You know, that's literally how I remembered it as a kid. I'm like, oh yeah, Wild West and like the Far East. We us. <laughs> Enjoy your face cam, froze. <laughs> 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 I like that. I like that. Okay. Oh, man. We asked. Uh, okay. Now you're in the bedroom. Okay. So, let's see here. We should probably look at the picture here, apparently. That's important. Uh, what is it of? Uh, what is this thing? Uh, Let's look at it again. Maybe something's different about it. What is it? Uh, it's a picture. Well. Hmm. Well, we're gonna check out the drawer, I suppose. Uh, a small bottle of perfume. Hmm. It smells like Mrs. Mary's. Uh, picked up perfume. Is it, so, when you spell M-R-S or M-S, what, what is the one that's like married? Because I'm always like, Miss, Miss, what is it? Mr. <laughs> Mr. Bean? <laughs> Mers, Mers. Okay. Anyway, so, uh, now we got perfume. Uh, I guess we're gonna have to leave here. Alright, now there's some other stuff here we can check out, but it comes in part later that we need to get. Especially this bird. This bird cage or whatever. It's a little oh my god, no. That's a that's that's a bad idea. No 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 no. Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah, 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 okay. Okay, that door is not reachable, in fact. Uh, okay. You know what this is just leave it dark. Why not? Uh, Wait, is that like a terrible idea? I think that is a terrible idea. <laughs> okay, maybe I should check the mirror just in case. Uh, or should I? Uh... It does have a little bit of the Pac-Man 2 aesthetic to it. Oh, I guess we're just leaving then. Uh... <clears throat> okay, well... Uh... Just gonna continue out in the hall here. So anyway, we're, let's talk a little Halloween candy. What what is your favorite Halloween candy, Chat? I've never been a big fan of uh, candy corn, as you know, but uh, I uh, I there we go. But I I've always been a big fan of uh, Haribo stuff. Like I love Haribo uh, pacifiers and. The sugar bears, uh, um, and I like wine gums too. But uh, whenever I eat chocolate for like candy, you get really sick of it quickly. You're like, okay, I've had a couple, and you're just like, you just feel nauseous. <laughs> but uh, oh, that leads here. Okay, gotcha. All right, that's a little bit of a shortcut. Mental note of that. Uh, heroin. Oh, heroin. Yes. The, that. Uh. I don't think that's meant to happen. <laughs> uh. <laughs> it's a Halloween miracle. Ah, uh, check the bathroom. <laughs> uh. Well, uh, let's, uh, Let's check the bathroom here, guys. Uh, every copy is personalized. <laughs> okay. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah. Keep, keep that door open. Keep that door open, please. That might be a good investment. I kind of want to put a, a funny, funny picture of Doom Guy, like looking around as the uh, the HUD. But uh, let's take it a little sort, little serious. Oh my God. <gasps> Uh, like song Scoob! La Laura! Oh shit! Oh god, it's the Scissor Man! 
Okay, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here now. Okay, okay. Oh, my God. Okay, well, I know where the, the bedroom is. And I'm I'm staying underneath uh, the bed. Which is always what I imagine myself doing whenever there's, like, a creepy monster or whatever. Oh, what, what, what the fuck? How'd it come from the right? Okay, <laughs> get in. <laughs> Hide under the bed. Is that an option? Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, under the bed. Genius. Genius. Oh, oh, oh. oh he's coming. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, 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 are we safe? Oh, no. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna all get the fuck out of here! <laughs> get the fuck out of here! No, no, go, 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 go! <laughs> oh, Jesus! Okay, go, 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 go! How did I survive that? Okay. Is he still coming after me? Oh, you bet he is. Holy shit. Eat a power pellet. Okay, I think I outrun him. Okay, so there's a bit of a stamina in this game, by the way. If you um, if you just rest up, you can run more and stuff like that. But uh... <laughs> somebody just says ACDC looking ass. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. Well, let's uh, let's see if we can avoid him. Uh... <laughs> Danny DeVito. <laughs> it's Angus Young and Danny DeVito's secret love child. Okay, no, that well, that will not work. Yeah. I wonder if I can like go swerve sort of around the the bedroom, and then because uh, it's coming from the, the the other side now, I think. Yeah. Okay, what would what would Danny DeVito and Angus Young sound like together? Well, Angus Young doesn't sing, but I'm like Bon Bon Scott, <laughs> Bon Scott, and the Trash Man. Garbage! Yay! <laughs> Oi! Actually, that's, that's the other guy. Shut down the flames! <laughs> okay, maybe you should just hide in the bathroom. Oh, he's coming, he's coming, he's coming. Oh, that's the other way! That's the, that's the way I came from! Shit! Okay. Okay, well, I know I can probably fight him off, right? Oh, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it! <laughs> get in! There's an urgency here, please! Okay. Okay, hide. Hide in the shower. Lock the door. Yeah, lock the door, that's great! Okay, hide, hide, hide! Do something, what are you doing? Oh, okay, he just went away. <sighs> well, the body's not there anymore. Okay, well, it's looks like the shower is working. Well, anything else here I can get, perhaps? Uh, okay, there's there's a really bad ending in this that I love. It's the logical. Uh, let's just take the car and get the fuck out of here. Ending, and uh, well, you can do that in the game, but let's just say that it's gonna have some consequences. Uh, <laughs> Which I love, because that's that's the that's the most logical thing, you know. I don't have to go right now. Well, maybe I do, because I had the sister man come after me. Okay. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> okay. Play Dark Seed with a guide. I played the original Dark Seed, in fact, and it was extremely like Oh god. Mmm, candy. Okay, I I had I had a bit of a a thing in the summer because usually these there's these little little beetles that crawl in in the summertime. They, they their function in in nature is to eat birds' nests, but sometimes they crawl in through the uh, the window where I live. And the problem is they love like old wood, so they lay their eggs in like the old 
like a uh, frame of walls and during the summertime you might see some shit on the floor and it's just this little like bug that crawls around and it's just like ah you know but they're, they're extremely tiny that's not they're not like cockroaches or anything and they're harmless but it's just it's so bothersome that you see them and you're like oh you know um anyway let's see here we're gonna go up here and see where we're going uh, use a flamethrower do I get stink bugs? No, we don't actually get stink bugs. No. Uh, okay. Okay, well, we're going all the way here then, I guess. Uh, oh? Who is it? Alright, let's let's hurry up. Oh man. Hmm, that's locked. Okay, maybe this door instead. <laughs> There's a bug here in Sweden literally called berry fart, by the way. That's the literal translation. <laughs> I am not kidding. I am not kidding. Look it up. There's also that Pokemon called Surskit. Uh, in Sweden, that means like sour shit. Uh, and I am not kidding. Various things are scattered around. Uh, oh man, okay. Nothing else here. Uh. And what's this? Uh, a can of insecticide. I probably need that to pick up some insecticide. Did I, did I actually pick up the perfume or did I just like examine it? Because uh, I know I'll be needing the actual perfume later on in the game. Uh. Hmm, can't open that up. Uh. Nothing else I can do in here. Uh. Whenever I, th whenever I see medical cabinets like this, oh, I did, okay. I think of the movie Zat, which is about a giant fish man that goes crazy. <laughs> All right. Uh, various things are scattered around. Okay, there's nothing else I can do here. It's some broken tableware. Okay, what's down here, actually? Uh, Examine it. See what it, see what we got. Oh, neighbors picked up some rope. Bad feast are stink bugs, really? Okay, well I guess I can't do more here. Plant ball rope. I, I gotta check something real quick. I'll be right back. Give me a second. No, it's not the sister, man. I'm just, I'm just checking. I think my neighbors are done having their party, <laughs> which is this is great for me. But all right, so one of these things, I think I can push this. Um, oh, that's my inventory. That's how it. That's the perfume. That's the insecticide, and that's the rope. Okay, and I don't think I'm going to be needing this yet. But there's something you can like push this, right? Is that what the objective here is? Okay, well. I wonder if I... Oh, there we go. Okay, you actually got to click it. And then... Okay. No good. Too high to climb up. Well, what if you use the crate? Half-Life puzzles. You know. No good. Too high to climb up. Okay. Alright, now we're talking. Yeah. Okay. Kicking some ass here, man. Alright. Alright. I gotta say that this game has a lot of sprites in it, which I appreciate. Even if this game had like five sprites for the character, <laughs> it's just this action 52 looking shit. Some clothes here. What kind of clothes are these? Who, who, who's with pizza are these? A black robe. Uh oh. Okay, well, there's that. Hmm. And again, you need these items. You need these items because uh, the very end of the game. As it requires the switch is broken. You know, sp speaking of the switch being broken, uh, so my animal. Well, I shouldn't say while we're streaming. Like, fuck. Okay, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Spoilers. Uh, there's gonna be an Animal Crossing stream tonight, and uh, it would not download the update. And I was like checking the Wi-Fi that it was didn't work. I reset the switch, and it just did not fucking download. And eventually, like I just gave up. And I'm like, well, we're not gonna have a Halloween thing later on tonight. And guess what? As soon as I gave up. Resuming download. <laughs> it's so frustrating. It's so frustrating. I swear. Uh, 
What's that? Looks like a bird's nest. Would I need the rope to perhaps? Looks like a bird. No, that that that's that's very stupid. Okay, what's this though? It's a stick. Okay, well. Oh shit! Bad idea. Bad idea. Bad idea. Bad idea. Okay. Let me guess. This this bird or whatever has like a key, and I need some something to uh, to get it. I didn't say bath idea, guys. I, that. Okay, that was not like a funny pun. Okay, that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hmm. Can I open this up now? Hmm. Still locked. Okay. I think I must leave here now. Okay. Oh. I think there's a there's a phone downstairs. Actually, we should probably check this as well. If I cannot get the good ending tonight, use the west wing here. Okay. Well, first of all, I guess we're doing that. If I cannot get the best ending, I will still uh, try to get an okay ending. Oh, hell. A screen came from outside. Can we examine that or are we gonna... All right. Oh, man. Uh huh. We could go down, but oh, mamma mia! Ooh, creepy. Okay. Uh, this doesn't seem like a good idea at all. <laughs> Something like creepy mannequins, man. The mannequin is wearing a dress. It looks nice. Oh. Let me guess, the sister man is going to be behind one of these. Uh, okay, that's not it either. Okay. Can I actually examine something here? Okay, yeah. Nothing here so far. Is it just me, or does this one mannequin look like the alien from uh, Metal Slug 3? Like, arm, arm, scowly face, and just like... <laughs> I'm pretty. You know. Alright, there's nothing I can do. Right, okay. Mm -mm. Let's go to the right, see what else we got. Oh my god, okay. Flatwoods monster, yeah, 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 for sure. Actually, the sister man hasn't uh, shown up in a while. Uh, Joe, you're on top. Joe, you're top on the Halloween. Cat? What? Category? Oh, oh, not Halloween cat. Okay. <laughs> I read that completely wrong. Okay. The Halloween cat. Uh oh. Oh, Jesus. Oh, man. What is this? Uh oh, yeah. There's, there's, there's like a refrigerator in this game with uh, something in it, right? Some hanging crow, crow corpses. Uh, they're decapitated. Uh I was watching a video on how to chop tomatoes right, and... Oh, what? what? A corpse of a crow. There's a key in here. Oh. The cage key. Oh, okay, okay. I'm, I'm down with that. Okay, but anyway, I was watching a video about how to chop tomatoes properly, and it was really weird because the guy in the video was really professional until he said some really stupid shit. He's like, uh, by the way, just eat the sides of the tomato because the, the inside of the tomato has no taste and it's disgusting. <laughs> like, he, he basically said, they're bitter, just throw them away. And it was, like, such a waste. And the video has, like, 16 million views. Not wrong. Well, I don't know about that. Let's see if I can put the light on here, actually. Okay. Hmm. Is it, is it like a funny rat inside? A single bird is left in the cage. Let it out. Rats scurry about in here. Oh, yeah. Silly boys. Uh, this is an image that always makes me laugh. It's about like the Black Plague, about how it destroyed all of Europe. And it's like the entirety of Europe versus a couple of silly boys, and it's a bunch of rats. <laughs> it's horrible, but. Okay. 
Well, we have a key now, so that's, uh, you know. Hmm. Well, I guess we're going this way and see. See where else we got. Who let the cross at? I have like, not. Oh shit! What's this? Uh, oh, the funny clown. It feels like someone's watching. Uh, it's a big clown doll. Uh, I have like weird like whenever I hear the ketchup song or who let the dogs out I just remember everybody liking that song in school when I was young and I absolutely hated it uh, I was like this song is stupid and I hate it stop doing the goddamn ketchup hand dance I said hey ahu ahi askibidi bibi badabadi booba haribidi bihibidi bidibidi boop I'm like guys the girl song damn it we might be 7 years old but we're men, we don't we don't like that. I said a heap, a skeeb, a goob, a libidi b dee bee 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 don't the lone lyrics, but something at an anime boop. <laughs> it looks like a child's bed. Okay. And dust creepy, very creepy. It's a French doll. It's hung from the ceiling. Oh, mama. Okay. What was that song? You are welcome. That song is from Spain, and we have to suffer it twice. <laughs> uh, see, a lot of the songs that I disliked when when I was a kid, I really like now because I like torture myself with it in a way. Because I'm like, this is terrible. I I absolutely hate it. A portrait of a middle-aged woman. I wonder who will let this. Jennifer talks to herself, by the way, which is a really dumb idea if you're trying to like sneak away from an enemy. It's like, I wonder who let this. <laughs> okay, you know what that reminds me of? It, it it reminds me of the Predator movie, when when Arnold is covered in mud and the Predator can't see him, so he looks at the camera, and goes, he couldn't see me, and the Predator's like standing right there. <laughs> <laughs> Desk is dusty. Put her a middle-aged woman. Maybe I can check something in the library. Yeah. Some books. Uh, okay. Survival for dummies. Uh. Okay. Uh, empty. Uh. Okay, check the window. Uh. You take them to talk to yourself too, Joel? Yeah, but I don't like think out loud, you know? If there's some really stupid shit, I'm like, yeah, let's not talk about like fart <laughs> on stream. Oh, I, I do. Did I see Rambo in Mortal Kombat 11, Joel? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I don't know. It just feels like uh, Mortal Kombat, especially when I was turning to Smash. Not that I don't, like, mind that, but, like, I, I feel like, man, so many guest characters. Okay. Okay. I think I need a, like a, not a nap, I need a map. A nap of a map. A cat in the hat. Uh, what rhymes with sandwich? Okay. The X had at least four. Hamwich. Bandwidth. <laughs> Slamwich. Yo, one, two, one, two. Maybe I can use the rope here to, like, uh, get up. Okay. No, that's not it either. Okay, well, I guess we just climb up, perhaps? Uh, that's not it either. Uh, <laughs> Coach Z, Coach Z, one, two, one, two. <laughs> These people are trying to face me. <laughs> All right, so. You guys ever have, had a lettuce sandwich? It's just mayo and lettuce. I thought I think I saw it on Good Mythical Morning, and there was some place on, on on planet Earth that does that. I'm like, dude, no. Okay, let's use the the wooden plank. Use a simple plank of wood. Well, y you know, the first floor can be seen. Well, y you know, boom, boom, bang. That's that. There we go. Okay. Now we're talking. Uh oh, what's this? Huh? I guess, I, I, again, I'm using a spoiler-free walkthrough right now. I'm not even, not even looking at it right now. I'm just kind of, like, enjoying the game. But, uh... Hmm? That looks like it's... Something's covered up here. The wall looks painted over. 
you know what kind of creeps me out old houses with like hidden rooms that people don't know about there was actually a Lidl it was actually a Lidl that had a like an ancestral Viking tomb underneath it, and they didn't even realize it was over there. So this Lidl actually uh, carved out the floors, and they added... Um, uh, they actually... Ooh. Cat! Meow meow. Okay, is this cat mean? I don't know. Anyway, they carved out the floors and put a glass on it, so you can see, like, the Viking roots underneath it. Okay, uh, I, don't, I don't trust this cat. <laughs> you mean your house. Oh, that leads here, huh? Alright. Interesting. Hmm. This cat over here. Um, am I ever going to play the new Spooky PlayStation 1 demo disc games? Uh, yeah, for sure, for sure. I just, I've just been so busy with this stuff. So is this cat nice, or... She's just standing there, I guess. Okay, some valuable looking pictures. Okay, anything else I can do here? There's some tableware here. Okay, I guess not. Oh, okay. Watch this cat like disappear when I put the lights on. <laughs> Can't pet the cat, shit game. <laughs> I think there was like a website or something um, dedicated to... Oh, that's a Twitter that's called Can You Pet the Dog or something like that. And it just catalog catalogs every video game like, yes, you can. You, ca you cannot. Okay. Let's see here. Uh, let's double tap. Oh. Oh, that, that, that leads to the end of that. Okay, I guess we're gonna head down. Okay, well, there's something to that. You see that? It's like, what is that? It's like a vine growing, or uh, I don't know what that is, but all right. Well, let's, I guess we're gonna head out. To, what is my opinion on Shrek? Uh, my 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 opinion on Shrek is that he's epic, and I would definitely say that when Shrek came out. Um, I remember, like, this was like the year 2001, we watched Shrek on a DVD on, on like, the school had rented a giant uh, bus, or bus, and had a DVD player on it, and I remember we were going on a ski trip, and I remember, for a kid's movie, I remember um, when the donkey and the dragon is in the castle, and, like, Swedish Eddie Murphy says the word, like, sexual, Everybody was like, oh, he just said that in a movie? Yo, he swore? <laughs> okay. Okay, I obviously not going here. Show us. Show you the Shrek movie? <laughs> it's like a big swear back in the day. Yeah. Okay, here's the thing though, you know what I love about Shrek? I don't, I don't know why I'm talking about this, but the Shrek book is actually legitimately hysterical. It's it's like Shrek being just a big fuck, and he's just like stealing people's chicken chicken wings. <laughs> it's, it's legitimately fantastic. Oh, another cat, huh? Hmm, is this cat trying- No, 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 don't go- No, 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 no. When is down 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 on the Dan? Uh, hopefully never, because that game completely falls apart at the caves. Uh, you know. Anyway, Shrek can can all can logically shoot laser from his eyes in the book. Yes, he does, and he warms up chicken wings with it. Okay, and, and I think he kills somebody just by looking at it because he's so ugly or something like that. <laughs> It's it's fantastic. I highly recommend you, you look at the Shrek book. It has nothing to do with the movie, or the movie has nothing to do with the book, rather, but it is sincerely fucking awesome. Looks like the shower is working. Okay. Hmm. I guess I don't need any items here. I do know that in later later in this game, you need... Uh, well, I already have pesticide, pesticide actually, and um, there's a fridge in this game that has an item in it, and you need to use the bug spray on it. So, uh, you know. 
The movie was meant to be an adaption of the book. Well, it turns out it wasn't. Okay. Oh, you gotta feed the bird with it. Okay, I see. Okay, we're gonna go here. Okay, seems that the door is locked. Okay. Let's see if we're going here. Anything different. I really should, like, draw out a map for this. Except I don't have a piece of paper, but I would if I could. Ooh, library. Let's put on the light. Switch is broken. Okay. Hey, spe speaking about the switch being broken, my fucking Joe cons are still, like, wonky as hell. <laughs> it's really frustrating. The author's name is Faded. Okay. And I can't send it back, because I don't think they do repairs on that. And it's just like, it's... Whoa, 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 what's going on? What are you freaking... Lots of technical books. <laughs> what? I don't understand. Okay, hang on. Let's gonna check something. No, we're fine. We're fine. Okay. Books are lined up here. Hmm... What's this? Uh, looks like a very old magazine. Uh, a maternity magazine? Uh, now, don't, don't make fun of me, but what does maternity mean? <laughs> Isn't that like m mom? Hold the, the, well, the tree in a forest, a person in crowds. The idol is on a statue. Mom. <laughs> okay. Joe, I don't know! Listen, I don't pass grade school, man. <laughs> it's about motherhood and... Okay. Well, I'll write that book. I'll be like, uh, I don't know. I don't know what goes on. I don't know. Something shiny in there. This crevice looks pretty deep. There's something shiny in there. Well, uh, maybe we can get it out somehow. Hang on. Uh, maybe not the perfume. The rope? No. No. Obviously, maybe I need like a knife or something. Okay, anything else I can get here? I'm willing to bet that there's like an item I gotta press several times and then the game suddenly goes, Hey, by the way! <laughs> okay. Let's see here. Um, if you didn't find a West Wing key in the living room box and then there's a way across the room. Uh, okay, click on the nest again. Jennifer will climb onto the box and take a key from the nest. Now leave this hall and into the second foyer. I think that's where I am right now, maybe. Okay. Okay. This was where uh, we heard a scream, right? Uh, this game has a kind of a badass game over screen, by the way. It's one of those, like, I think there's a mod for Stalker where uh, instead of you saying game over, it says, like, the zone takes you or something like that. I think that might be misery or whatever it's called. And I just love badass statements like that. Just, you know, there seems to be stuck. Stuck door? Okay. But uh, what I really like about this game's ending is it just says dead end. Not game over. Dead end. Okay. Well. The zone. Hey, I actually own Roadside Picnic now, by the way, which is what the Stalker game was based off. But I, this one thing I don't like, uh, and that is, <laughs> I, <laughs> I hate the fact that my book says on it, the game that inspired Stalker, the video game. Like, it just makes it a little hokey. Like, come on. I talked about this before. Well, I can't remember all the things I've said. Here we go. Here's the kitchen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like an iron iron frying pan. <laughs> we'll kill Sister Man with like Princess Peach style. <laughs> you know how much a fucking frying pan in the head, especially if it's cast iron? I think you could actually kill somebody just donk in the head. <laughs> not, not even like for funny effect. You, you would die, you know? 100%. Some drinks are lined up here. Okay. That's the that's the refrigerator we gotta open up to uh, to uh, a calendar. Okay, today's date is marked. Uh, okay, they don't really specify exactly, but uh, all right. Uh, there's something shiny here. 
Tonight on Kitchen Nightmares, Gordon Ramsay. Mm -hmm. No, 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 we, we, we got this, we got this. We have a uh, pesticide, inse insecticide. First you gotta open up, okay? No. <laughs> what are you doing? Okay, use. Activate. Look! Look! Maybe, maybe, okay. Look! Look! Uh... I must be doing something wrong here. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Should I just exit and come back? Okay, okay. Open door. Okay, we, we I think we have to leave first and then come back. Yeah. Yeah, let me just casually stroll out here. It's kind of disgusting. Bye. Okay. No, not that. For fuck's sake. <laughs> All right. Well. It reminds me of when when Gordon Ramsay like leaves a restaurant after it's been disgusting, and then it like, comes back and renovates the place, and he always gives the like the false pretend of. I, you know, I can't do this. You guys are hopeless. And they're like, please, Gordon, don't give up on us. And he comes back and, like, redecorates everything for, like, $1,500 million. Uh, well, that would be billion, but whatever. Um, so, anyway, he comes back and, like, he changes the menu. And he's like, well, good news. Your menu doesn't suck anymore. And then, uh, and it's just like a big fairy tale, like, and everything was fine in the end. And then you look it up afterwards and the fucking restaurant closes because they were, like, they went back to their old ways. <laughs> it's true, they do that! Here's the sound effects. Oh, this is the sound effect? Hang on. Is this the... <laughs> yes! Tonight on Kitchen Nightmares! You ever have watched the, the UK version of that? It's, it's so different. Okay, so before we do this, no, 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 Jennifer, no, 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 no. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Freaky, freaky, freaky. But, but, like, no, 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 no. Look, look. Okay, maybe, maybe just insecticide, and then combine with the perfume. How do you combine things in this game? I don't think that's it. For oh, fuck's sake! Freya, you play this game. Was it Freya? No, no, it wasn't Freya, it was Gonzo. Gonzo, wh wh what am I supposed to do here? Use it on the door before opening it. Okay, I'll, I'll try that too. Okay. <laughs> is this clock tower? This is clock tower, yes. Sir. Maybe use the pesticides before closing the door. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll try that this time. He also has a show where he revisits the restaurants and they are mostly closed or there's a new shop. What What is it? What is Gordon Ramsay doing nowadays? Isn't he like a YouTuber? <laughs> When I say YouTuber, I think of like Jack Black playing like Fortnite and and like you know twerking or whatever. But like he's he's just uh, I mean I guess he, I guess he's busy like running a restaurant in real life. Uh, that's how we do it. We gotta do it beforehand. That's how we do it. That's how we do it. Okay. Okay. Spray the insecticide. There we go. There we go. You can't actually. All right. I see. I see. A key is left behind. Ah, uh, yes. Pocketed the gold key. Nice. All right, anything else in the kitchen that I need? Uh, he had a new show recently where he fixed up restaurants in 24 hours. Oh, really? Okay. 
Let's see what we got here. Huh? Some drinks should line up. Okay. At this point, I would like look for a knife or something. <laughs> you know? Huh? Hmm. Some eating utensils. Like a knife? Knife, please? No? <laughs> Gas tanks for a stove. Okay. Well, I guess we're leaving. <laughs> so impractical. It's just like, dude, what, what the hell? Okay. Stab him with a fork, kid. Yeah. Okay. Uh. Joel, he has giant scissors. You can't kill him with a knife. Well, yeah, you just tell him, like, hey, by, by the way, look up. And he'd be like, what? And he's thunk, in the jugular, you know? Okay, you know, we can actually finish this game right now because you see this car? <laughs> I can actually escape right now. You want to see it? The car ending, real quick? Actually, I think the keys aren't here. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, maybe not. I think he might actually be in the uh, the barn up here. Okay, you know, let's, let's do our first save here, just in case. Just in case here. Because, uh, you know, who knows? Who knows what will happen? And power might go out or something. You know, <laughs> my summer car. Okay. There we go. All right. Let's see where we're going. No, that's not it either. Get in the car and run over Sister Man. Problem solved. You know, there's a little bit more to this game, from what I remember, than just Sister Man. Look at this. The mouses are fighting. You know, we got two FPS mouse versus, like, modern, you know. It's like that one uh, YouTube animation. It's like, like animator versus animation, whatever. You know. This is super old, crusty... Uh, this is super old, crusty thing called Cursor Dance Party, <laughs> and it never fails to make me laugh. All it is is just a gif of of mouse m mice uh, just dancing around. It's just like join in. <laughs> uh, so good. Okay, let's get up here. Okay. Uh, all right, maybe something in the... This is a key. Oh, sweet. A car key. All right, do you guys want to go? <laughs> I might need gas, though. I'm not sure. But, uh, yeah, here we go. Shittiest ending. And then we... Uh, the keys aren't here. Well, I know that. Okay, maybe I got to use the actual key beforehand, like uh, car key. And then, yes, okay. And let's go. I can get out of here with this car. But mm, the others don't don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. No 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 no. I I insist. I insist. I insist. The the the, the guilt. What should I do? Forget about him. It's, just go. Let's go. He's rammed to the wall. <laughs> Let's leave! Come on! <laughs> yes! Yes! That's what I'm talking about! Yes! Just go, man! Yeah! <laughs> Produced by Hiroyasu Ishikazaki. Background designed by Tim Curry. This green. <laughs> Tabin. Uh, God damn it, Tim. Okay. 
<laughs> yes, yes. I want to see a little little Tim Curry face on Scissor Man. All right. Scary. Okay. <laughs> That was great. That was fucking great. <laughs> I, see I, I, I just love this. I'm sorry. <laughs> I was gonna have this in the background ready to go whenever. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's so good. Oh, bless that, man. Okay. I, th I think I can basically glue these two streams together. I think I'm gonna do that at this point. Um, fuck it, I'll, I'll just do this. I'll, I'll glue it from here, from the previous stream into this stream. So, um, basically, <laughs> I'll explain this for YouTube uh, YouTube uh, viewers, but uh, if you're watching live on Twitch, you'll be like, well, what the fuck are you talking about? But uh, basically, um, on the Halloween stream we did, uh, we played Clock Tower and we didn't progress because we kept getting stuck in whatever. Now I'm using a map and it's like better. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna cut these two streams together and this is like the two days after post Halloween. So uh, yeah, I, I guess I guess that's that. But uh, yeah, if Twitch viewers are right now are like, what? You do some time traveling shit, man. But uh, yeah, but basically we're just catching up to where we were um, and that's that, so anyway. What was I saying? Uh, time travel. Billu, 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 billu. Is there any more Halloween games after this one? So I wanted to do Alone in the Dark. I said that too, but I, I opted in to not do it. Um, I might just do it next year. Uh, this is a game I want to do for a very long while anyway. Uh, but uh, yeah, Alone in the Dark is just the first, like, you know, it's, that's not the first, but, but it's one of the first. One of the first survival horror games. And... Um, but survive it inspired Resident Evil, you know. So uh No 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 go this way. Uh, okay. Uh, I miss Windows Destruction. Well, uh, I do Windows Destruction every year on uh, charity. Um and uh, probably next year too for PCRF we're doing uh, uh another OS, you know, and before the year ends, so there's gonna be a highlight of last year's uh event. So, you know. So, hang on, let's see here. Use a simple plank of wood. Yeah, 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 First floor can be seen. There we go. A lot of times you have to, like, examine things first and then, like, come back and be like, Hey, by the way. All right. Now, from what I remember from the guide, the spoiler-free guide or whatever, one of these statues or whatever had, like, a thing I had to get. And we were like looking for this thing forever until we realized it can't fucking find it. And I think it has something to do with the, the base of these statues. Maybe. I'm, I'm not sure. Uh, is, is that it? Is that it right there? Nope, that's not it. Alright. Alright. Okay, well anyway, let's, let's keep on running here. Is that it? No, no, no. It's one of these statues, at least, that you have to, like, click on, I suppose, but... Uh, okay. Now, from what I remember, the guide said something about that... Oh, shit! Oh, fuck! Uh... Uh... Oh, cat! Oh, hey! Doing alright? Yeah, it's doing alright. <laughs> alright. That's a, that's a huge cat. That's like a panther, you know? Uh, oh, that's where we gotta go. And then we just gotta go off oh, with a crack in the wall. Okay. We need a Mr. Meow emote. <laughs> we do. Twitch has like a cat emote, right? And you got panther, you know? <laughs> oh my god. There we go. What are my thoughts on a tuna sandwich? Looks like it's been painted over. It's been cracks here. It's deteriorating. Can we just maybe go through? What do you think, kitty? Maybe I need to smash this. Yes, I gotta smash it. That's what it is. But what I think of tuna sandwiches, I think they're great. Uh, what I usually do is I... Uh, well, I think this is a common American thing anyway. What is it called? Uh, tu tuna melt? It's mayo, tuna, and black pepper, right? 
All right, well, let's go inside, I guess. Uh, there's a room over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what? It's kind of weird. I had tuna melt once at Subway. I didn't like it that much. And I usually like tuna a lot, but... Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Hasn't been used in ages. The air in this room is stagnant. Mm. Uh oh. Uh, black med medical bed. And then already, Walter Simpson. Merge. Walter Simpson. Huh? Uh oh. Uh, fa. Father. Hmm. Let's see what this is. Walter Simpson. Okay. Well, there he is. Uh, Walter Simpson. Yeah, yeah. Papa. Papa. It's holding a piece of paper. Uh, looks like a memo. Hmm. Oh my God. Eleventh, tenth, nineteen eighty-six. This is the third day I, Doctor Walter Simpson, have been fi have been in here. I'll not last long. Before I die, I will record this. There are twin children who are a blemish on this world. When the lady was to give birth, I was called to this house. She gave birth to two. No. Demons. Les enfants terribles. When they were born, they ate my right hand. They were ill. Their bodies deformed. They should have died. But they lived. I should have tried to. Everything is painful. They're in this room. It's already gone. They're on a cra cradle under the star. Jennifer. Jennifer! <laughs> Jennifer! Hmm. Well, uh, I really just like tubular bells, but. So there's, there's two children that was given birth on, on into the world, and they're demons. Is one of them a uh, scissor man? Alright, looks like someone was counting days. Uh, marks were cut into the wall. Uh, Alright. Uh, yeah, that's okay. Looks like a chart of some sort. Mary and Patience names. Uh, the name of the master of the house. Uh, hmm. Mary uh, Barrows. Uh, hmm. All right. Uh, well, and that's the that's the uh, that's where it was painted over in the hallway. Okay, I gotcha. I gotcha. Also, Joel. Final question. <laughs> Favorite toothpaste flavor? I didn't see your other questions, but. Uh, <laughs> uh, I don't have one. Uh, mint. Mint flavor, I guess. <laughs> All right. And the question is, is there any keys for anything in this room that I need to get? Well, I think that's it. I think that's it. Unless... Okay. Well... Oh shit, I'm scared. I got the pop filter and I smashed it and it scared me. <laughs> oh. God damn, man. Is anything in here perhaps? No. Okay, well. <laughs> it actually scared me. It actually scared me. <laughs> it's so quiet right now, you know? Okay. Jesus Christ. Uh, okay, well, I admit it, you love the bums of toothpaste. So if you don't know what a bums of toothpaste is, it's, uh, when, as a kid, you went to the dentist. Well, I think in the same, in America, do you get the banana flavored toothpaste when you go uh, to the dentist as kids? 
Or is that just sweet or not? Yeah, you do, the banana one. Yes, you do, that's fluoride? Well, that's the one that's just like, oh, I love this taste too. Okay, no, there's nothing here, okay. Now we're going to the cage room, apparently, according to the spoiler-free guide, so... Let's double check so we don't traverse the entire of of this place. Now, some of these rooms, from what I deducted, is, is again, random. So, using, like, a guide and a map doesn't really help that much, but... It is what it is. Actually, I think the cage room right here, I know where that is. No, that's a tro trophy room. What I'm looking for is underneath the stairs. And no, actually, I, th I think I think I know where this might be. I think I know where this is. Okay. If we go here, and if we go here, this this might be this might be the the cage room that I need to go in there. Now this is the living room. This is the living room right here, man. Hmm. Anything here? Look at this trash trash box. Uh, empty. Just like your soul. Some books. I'll read everything like Christopher Lee or like horror horror man. Uh, every everything has to have an undertone of. My God, which is just as I said, Orson Welles. I wonder who lit this. I wonder who lit this. I wonder who lit this. It's a picture of a woman. This person looks familiar. What about these books? Oh, hell, I can't read. <laughs> oh, this led back here, huh? Okay. Gotcha. Then I think I've gone a little too far, actually. Uh, if that leads there. Okay. And that is there. I think then... Do, 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 do. Mm hmm? I think I need to go down the stairs. That's what it is. Okay. Hey, we're sister man. I haven't seen him in a while. Uh, you know, he's just chilling out. He's, he's a good, good guy. <laughs> I think it was Arena from Game Center CX. It was some like game, uh, like there was some game like that had a villain in it, and Arena goes, "It's all right. He's a good guy. He's a good guy. Come on." <laughs> uh, does this girl know she could just leave none of this detective shit is necessary <laughs> you know we um i think i'll keep that on youtube but i showed off the ending where you can't just escape you have a guilty conscience but you take the car and you kind of just go bye um it, it's quite amazing actually and i wish more games could do that uh but it's like the worst ending in the game because it also like you get killed in the car as you're escaping but like you know uh i, I love that i love that the logical ending uh, you know uh, that's what i always think of like uh, the star trek holodeck because they play a lot of ga games there um and i was always thinking because they're always playing plays and they're playing detective and blah 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 um and sometimes they break the lore of what they're playing, where, like, they just shoot the villain in the face at the end. And they're like, well, no, we can't do that. Imagine imagine when we can... Oh, shit, is he here? Okay, stop, 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 stop. Okay, now you stop. I guess this door doesn't have a door handle. Okay. <laughs> but uh, I, I hope to, like, the one day... We have, uh, here's a ceremony room, okay, I saw this before, but, okay, the Cel Celadon v Vase, okay, and there was something here from what I remember, 
We had to go in the middle here, and then I, but I, I don't get like hmm. a square hole is visible. The cradle under the star. Well, didn't didn't the uh, the, the 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 memo on the corpse say uh, um, uh, something about the demons were under the star or whatever? Is that where your sister man lives? Oh, I'm freaking out. Okay, here's the library. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. Oh, God, oh, man. The crevice looks pretty. There's something shiny in here. Uh, can, I, can I get it out somehow, I wonder? What is this? What is this? This books. Uh, looks like a very old magazine. A maternity magazine. Hmm. Something I probably don't do. So, Mrs. Barrows. Was she the one who gave birth to the uh, the, the, the demon children or whatever? Uh, I guess that's what it is. Because uh, she's kind of like the bad guy. You know? Uh, books are lined up here. Okay. Was there something where I could push these or something like that? What was it? Hmm. Author's name is faded. I bet I need a, a, a key or something from this library. A lot of technical books. I don't understand shit! Okay. Probably shouldn't be there yet. Okay. But why can't I open up this door? Like, stop, 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 stop. Is, is it because it, like, what? what? <laughs> the cave is just like, can't open this one. No. Nope. <laughs> nope. All right, well, I guess we're going to keep on exploring. Hmm, hiding from Zero. Oh, well, Zero, uh, hey, man, I, I don't know if you saw, but I, uh, I saw the, uh, I saw the animation. And I was, uh, I was pretty impressed. I was pretty impressed. Okay. Okay. Careful now. Careful now. We gotta rest. Okay, this this goes all the way back, and we don't need to go here. I think. Where does this actually? Go? Let me let me see the, the see the map. And the map here would go back to uh, the main main hallway again, which is not where we want to go. No, here is the map. Okay. Well, we have to go to the cage room. The only problem is where th this cage room is located on my map right now. Uh. Ooh, 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 no, 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 I, I figured it out. So some of these, some of these rooms, I'm gonna use a flash forward here, cause like, it's, it's taking too long. Um, some of them are, are, uh, like different. At each playthrough, um, which is very confusing, cause when you look at a map, it's like, what the fuck? But, one of the rooms that's quote unquote interchangeable, uh, or inaccessible, could also be up here, from... I think from what the map is telling me. We'll see though, we'll see. So this could be the cage room, this could be the cage room, we'll see. Am I right about this? I am right about this, okay, I... I'm smart. Okay. Alright. Now, the question is... Uh... <gasps> A corpse of a crow. Uh, there's a key here. Uh, pocket the cage key. And then I gotta go here, right? Uh, okay. Maybe put the lights on? If they work, that is. Uh, right. Uh, a single bird is left in the cage. Uh, for the rats scurry about in here. Uh, I guess we're gonna free the. Uh, the bird. Rato. Okay. Hello. 
Okay. Bye. I hope I find a way out of here, too. Empty. That's empty? Okay. What about the... Uh, the rats? <laughs> what? The rats, like, eat me alive. The rats ran away. Okay. Okay. Well, I guess there's nothing else I can do here. I hope, like, freeing the rats here doesn't give me a bad ending. <laughs> like, at the very end of the game, when it's like, the credits are rolling, the rats come and, like, just eat your skull off, you know? <laughs> it's just one of those games, you know? You never, you can never anticipate this kind of shit, and it's just bad ending, rat ending, you know? Alright, anyway, let's see here. So, we're looking at the, the thing here. Uh, uh, get cage from the table, use cage key on cages. Which means that I think this cage key. Uh, did 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 it? Hang on. Get key from the table. Use key key cage on key changes. Uh, okay, I think we're meant to. to uh, at this point, just breathing will give you a bad ending. <laughs> yeah, it's one of those games, man. Like, like you fuck up enough, and the game's like, yeah. By the way, you messed up. Sorry, friend. Oh yeah. Oh, uh. Right. Oh. Uh. <gasps> the flesh. What is that? What, what in God's name is that? Some demonic ground beef. Okay. Oh, man. Yes, Cyber Demon? Okay. Is there anything else I can get here? Hmm. This really sounds like soup, by the way. Yeah. Anything down here I can get, maybe? Okay, well, that's that. Uh, sounds like the Bowser noise from Mario 64. I think it is! I think it is the Mario 64 noise. Okay. I guess I can hide in the, uh, the closet or whatever, but... Oh my god. Okay. Okay, let's get out of here. Let's go. Okay. You know, you know, you know. It's a, it's a good like uh, hide uh, from the monster, the closet. Silent Hill Two. Maybe it's been such a long time since I played Silent Hill Two, but that was one of those games that was like so goddamn scary and was played under the right circumstances. You know, I played it completely dark. I was young, and you know, it, that game felt so real that just like I, I don't know, man. That game is, like, sincerely scary, isn't it? Like, it's not just, you know, me remembering it as more scary than it is, but very atmospheric game, you know? Mannequin is wearing a dress. Ooh. Anything else? I think I'm gonna go. <laughs> um, I have a question. Um, now, I'm not that great with Silent Hill lore. I guess we're talking horror games now, but I'm not that amazing with Silent Hill lore. But I have a I have a bit of a question here. If part if if each Silent Hill like I don't know what the word would be. Um, sorry for like doing this and just skimming through everything at this point. Um, if each Silent Hill to each protagonist is a personalized hell of their like sins and like nightmares and like phobias or whatever it might be, why is it that Pyramid Head keeps reappearing in like subsequent games? Why that uh, fan service? <laughs> Konami forgot. Well, he's the goal key. Oh, I already have that. Okay. Mrs. Mrs. Mary! Glad to see you safe, Jennifer! I'm gonna do this voice now. Hey, uh, I saw a corpse and, you know... Is there something wrong? Come here! Uh, no. Goodbye. <laughs> okay, well... We were really meant to do that, too. We were really meant to... You know, let's, let's save here, just in case. Just in case. Uh, 
Hang on. There we go. A coin for me children! Spare a coin for the children! Okay. Now, we're back here. Now, we were actually meant to see that. We were really meant to see that, too. Um, but now we gotta get a key here. Blessings have you start upon ye! Okay, uh, some of the drink is still in here. Uh, have you guys ever, like, drank wine and you don't realize you're meant to refrigerate the wine afterwards? Because you think it's, like, liqueur that, that is, like, you know, vodka or whatever. And you don't realize it gets worse and worse and more fermented until it becomes, like, nuclear soup alcohol. Uh, the phone line's been cut. Oh, my God. Uh, rare's beverages... Uh, I did that once. I just moved into the apartment, and I'm like, I I'm gonna have some wine. Uh, and eventually, like, you, you realize this doesn't taste very good, and it's been like a year since I last drank it. And you realize you're kind of drinking like soap. <laughs> it's it's you're basically drinking rat poison unintentionally. But uh, yeah. Um, anyway. We have to go to the music room now, which is like way off in the uh, in the game. But we're gonna go all the way there, man. A whole year. But uh, I'm not a big uh, wine person. I I uh, I don't know. I I, I like. Well, I've said this many times, but I like wine more when it's for food purposes rather than like a, a beverage to drink. Um, I'm under the firm belief that, like, everybody lies about liking alcohol. Like, when everybody, when anybody says, like, Ah, oh, yes, this this wine is exquisite. This, the, the fragrance of this Chardonnay is, is, is just, it's, it's so good. And reality, they go, like, <laughs> Oh, God! <laughs> like, nobody, alcohol is just, like, a terrible taste. And the whole purpose of alcohol is to like hide the flavor <laughs> when you're drinking it. So when you're doing like a drink, you're like, okay, let's like not make this taste so bad. But uh, but that's not to say that I haven't had like enjoyable drinks. But like as soon as it tastes like alcohol, I'm like, how can anybody enjoy this? You know. So um, I have a very kind of juvenile taste when it comes to to, to wine. I, I like really fruity wine. Anything that's like sour or like, I'm like, oh man. That's why I'm not a big fan of white wine unless it's made into food. But, uh, yeah. Anyway, let's see where we're going. So, um, I went to the liquor store because uh, I, I got a wine rack up. Shit, I'm sorry. I got a wine rack up in my apartment, and uh, I was wondering, like, oh, can I... I was wondering if you have any, like, uh, wines from this country or whatever, and I was asking, like, uh, just out of curiosity, like, I don't drink a lot of sake, but I'd rather have, like, a sake bottle in my collection of stuff up here. And uh, they say, well, but you have some Japanese stuff, and I swear to God, I hate when, like, countries play up to, uh, to their uh, country. And I swear to God, it was called, like, samurai wine, and I'm like... What the fuck is this? And it was done in that like fake, fake Japanese font where it, it's meant to look like kanji letters or kana, and it's like, it's, get the fuck out of here. It's cheap as hell too, and you just know that it's no good, you know? It's like Samurai Jack wine. Long ago, <laughs> a foolish samurai warrior. Drank from my wine. And now you get to taste it too. And I'm like, shit. <laughs> this is terrible. Terrible. <laughs> uh, see, a lot of people know Mako from uh, from Samurai Jack, but I always think of Conan the Barbarian. Uh, well, now, hey, hey now. Staff rest in this pot. Uh, picked up the staff. Well, look at that. Long ago, when the sun drank Atlantis, you know. You know how much I love that movie. <laughs> I love Conan Barbarian so much that I actually sampled 
Um, uh, oh fuck! Oh fuck! Fuck! I need some. Holy shit! Holy shit! No! 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 I actually sampled the Code of the Barbarian and one of Scythe Lords. I was wondering where the, where the hell he went. He's back. The man behind the mask. Lock the door. Lock the door. Okay. Hide here? Okay. Lock. How do you lock it? Well, you know. Oh, man. If he's gonna stab me through the door, I'm gonna be very upset. Oh, we're good, we're good, we're good. Look! Look! Okay, well... Clock Tower Death Roulette when? <laughs> okay. Whew! Okay. Boom! Oh! Oh! oh whoa, 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 what? What? Okay, let, let's rest up in the meantime. Uh... <laughs> I don't know how I survived that, but I did. Okay, well, that, that's amazing. Invincibility frames. A smart place to rest, right? Let's get ahead so I can just get my health back. Uh, well, that's not real health in this. There's stamina, which is your health, I guess, but... Okay, I... You just gotta wait a fuck ton of time for this to like get back, which you know I'm sorry I like you know fast forwarding and all that stuff, but all right, well, now we gotta go back to a room that says religious study, religious study. Okay, and re the religious study room is like way off, I think. Yeah. Hang on, religious study room? Oh, I think I know where that is, actually. I think I know where that is. Joel, he can, st he can still come if the game is paused. Don't tell me that! <laughs> Shit, I'm tripping now. Doesn't this lead back to uh, uh, the trophy room? Let's just quickly go through here. Oh, no, no, it goes up here, and then, then we gotta. Yeah, okay, then this would go up here. Sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm skipping forward a little bit, but we're doing it for like more time constraint reasons, you know? Yeah, he hasn't appeared yet, so that that's good. Okay, no, stop, stop. It, it... Oh, shit, what, what's going No. Okay. This is a man that isn't very intimidating. He, he's literally smaller than you. Yeah, but that's not the point. He, he's got a, you know... He's got, he's got a funny, uh... You know... Uh, f funny, uh, what do, what do you call him? Uh, sister. <laughs> funny sister. You know. Chompy. <laughs> okay. So, I think we need to go here. Right? One of these. This goes here. Wait, that's not where we're going. This is the one, because, uh, uh, yeah, because we have the key for it. Yeah, the, the, there we go, there we go. Use the silver key. Yep. Yep. Here we go. Yeah. Now let's see what this this guide again. Spoiler free. Spoiler free guide, but I don't know. Examine the bookshelves. Examine paintings. Examine everything on a round desk. Examine left bookshelf. Examine painting and use staff on the right side of the painting. Staff on the. Okay. Examine everything. Everything. Oh, 
But the problem is he's still after me. Uh, suggestions, guys? Should we just go back all the way to the... Uh, the bed? <laughs> I guess I could. Okay. Boom. The, the phone scared me a little bit. <laughs> tell him, tell him to stop chasing you. Yeah, please, can you stop? Okay. Um. Didn't I close? I, I swear to God, I lo locked the door. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 shit. Um. What the fuck? Uh. Uh. Well, that, that didn't do shit. <laughs> Oh, raid! Oh, from who? From who, who, who raided there? Rob us. Oh, shit. I wonder if I do uh, like a Swedish Kermit the Frog. I sound like Robus. What's up, everybody? Uh, Robus from Sweden here. Tonight, uh... <laughs> no, it doesn't sound like that. <laughs> King King of Sweden here. King of Sweden here. Tonight uh, we're gonna be playing um, a funny meatball, funny meatball game, and uh, you know. Oh shit! It's coming. <laughs> I love Robbins, though. Don't, don't, don't get me wrong. I, I love my fellow uh, countrymen, Swedes. You know, and I especially love, I especially love Swedish streamers that like their accent. Uh, I guess still there. Like mine has disappeared a little bit over the years, but you know. <sighs> We did it. We just had to hide underneath the bed, man. That's what that was what it was all about. Okay. Okay. Lube my chair. I'm gonna get a new chair soon, by the way. I'm actually so seriously contemplating getting like a regular non-gamer chair. Like I'm talking as basic as like um early two thousands, like just Chair, you know, like snow RGB modded shit. Just nope, there we go. You know, I think that like gamer chairs are like more expensive just because they they appeal to the whole like um, the gamer look. Which like if you slap on like jagged edges and like funny RGB shit, it's like the price goes. You know, but I'll tell you, you know, what? it's the worst gamer chair in the world. <laughs> I'm sure you guys can relate. I don't know. But uh, when your friend, uh, when you were at your friend and he was playing on the PC and what you had to do is get a kitchen chair and put a cushion on it and sit on it. It's fucking uncomfortable as hell. But he didn't mind, you know. He only minded when it was like five hours of staring at someone playing Diablo 2. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Welcome to a world of uh, reading. Time will cause adherence. Uh, the clock tower's clock stopped. Uh, there's a note here. Okay. What about the chair? Uh, yeah, okay. Hmm. What else do we need? I guess we gotta examine the wall here so what is this the mural curves the wall part of it hidden is behind that shelf maybe I gotta tip it over now first of all we should probably read see what I can find hmm 
Nothing here. Okay. I love the soundtrack. It's very creepy. Okay. Oh. Is this where I had to put the staff? Somebody was pointing that out. It depicts a ceremony. The room's somewhere in that house. So, not here, right? Okay. No, I think I've gotten everything from this. Should I go back to the, uh, the ceremony room now, uh, perhaps? Oh, but, no, yeah, 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 that would make sense. And that would... Would I need to put the staff into where the ceremony... Oh, because then... That is where the smoke is coming from, the hole in the... Oh, shit, okay. Ah! Okay. Now, let me guess. Just because I did that, the game is going to escalate to fuck and be like... You know, now the the real clock tower begins. You know, <laughs> big brain Joel. Yeah, Let's see if I remember where the, the thing was. Uh, was it over or under? I don't remember, but um, that's a child's room, and this was. That place. I think it was under, right? So. Yeah. This is the music room. This is the music room. And this was... Uh, the... Oh, oh, fuck! Oh. The fucking cat scared me! Uh, I was, like, getting ready to fight. <laughs> okay. El gato. Okay, so this is not the way. Uh, this is the way we gotta go. In here. I think. No, 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 no. This goes. No, so it's it's downstairs. It's downstairs. Sorry for like going and getting lost and all that, but I'm trying not to look at the map too much, because otherwise it feels just like yeah, you know. Whatever. So that's one. Oh, yep. Yeah, it is here. It is here. This room looks like the one and the mural. So I gotta put the staff in here. Is that it? No, oh, leave. What? What the hell? No, stop it. I'd rather just go home. We're about to solve this mystery, but let's just go home instead. Yeah. Okay. Sell them. Oh, okay. What was that sound? Oh, oh, shit. You just go down. Hole goes pretty far down. I can descend with this ladder here. What was that noise? Okay. Uh. Oh. Oh. Uh. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Oh, is that Mrs. Mary? And to oh, so I would need to like put on the okay, hang on. black robe. Something's there. Yeah, obviously. Okay. Okay. No, no, no. Okay. How about doggy? Would you like one ham, please? Okay. Uh. Maybe do this, and then perfume. The dog knows the smell very well. 
It's just like the perfume air uses. Uh, Oh, okay. I didn't need the ammo. I didn't need the ammo. <laughs> well, look at that. Probably rest up now, actually. Chill out. Okay, I guess I can't really rest at this moment. This is a point of no return. If you want to get more shit stuff, stop right now. Okay, let me let me let me do a save then. Okay. Let's just wait. Yeah, we, we never made it this far before, so... Okay, there we go. Oh, shit, what's going on? Oh, oh! Oh, Lord... Oh, no. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Lord... <laughs> You're still alive? Jennifer! <laughs> the switches in the clock tower! Lotte? Don't leave me alone! Oh no! Death! Oh shit! Oh boy. So I'm the last one alive out of girls, huh? Oh, oh. oh. Am I meant to go here? <laughs> I, I guess. Okay, what is on the right side? Is this like Friday the 13th caves or the forest or whatever? Uh, I guess. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Um, hello, elevator. Would you like a hand, please? Uh, rope? Uh, no, that's not it either. Hmm. I'm guessing I, I don't need to go here, just like. I need a key for it, though. Okay. Uh, use ham on everything. Uh, oh, 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 what's this? What's this? What's this? Uh, uh No 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 stop 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 it stop it stop it Look look <laughs> Whatever what's this uh, Hmm There's a can here uh, looks like kerosene Oh yeah Okay this can here uh, kerosene Oh, a climb up here? I'm a, I'm a little intrigued at the story, like... Uh, the, the, the demon. I'm not sure where it's all gonna lead, but... Uh, you know, there's ham in the can. <laughs> oh, excuse me? Uh, Pac-Man 2. <laughs> it is kind of like Pac-Man 2. Um, well... Well, Pac-Man 2 is more like a, like a go here, you idiot, but, uh, you know. It's time? What, what is time for? I've seen this part here, but go. Uh, boss fight? Oh. Giant demon baby. Oh shit! I got a I got a mash button for this. So wait wait, wait a minute wait, wait a minute. So Mrs. Mary's children is this like thing and sister man? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Come on! Wait. Don't I have the rope? Oh, Lord. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, dear God. Ah. Uh, oh. 
Oh, I feel terrible. It wasn't even like, well, I don't know if it was evil. Was it evil? Well, okay. Well, uh, oh shit, everything's coming apart now. Uh, maybe I should check on Lot, Lot Day. If you fail to run away, it eats you. Oh, well, okay, well, but that's more like a, that's not like evil. That's just like, you know, n you know. Uh, I guess it's dead. All right. Oh, oh shit. <sighs> I should have used the ham instead. <laughs> that's terrible. Okay. Hmm. Oh, no, no, maybe I should go to the elevator now. But I, I, I don't really... So, wait, wait, Mrs. Mary? She gave birth to that? Okay, okay, now, now we go. Yes. How? Well, uh, <laughs> oh boy. Should I look at the guide for this? Uh, probably should say, right? Uh, let me do a separate save just in case. Uh, okay, well, let's see if the guide says anything about this. Uh, it says to go on a third floor. Oh, no. Let me guess. Sister man through the, uh, the elevator. Oh, shit. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Oh, hell. Okay, what do I do? Oh, oh. Go, 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 fuck out. Just go, 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 go. Dear God. Uh. Shit, shit. Do I mash? Do I mash? What do I do? Oh, lots of ice about. Okay. The bells! The bells! Okay. I guess that's that. And that's that. Okay, maybe grab the scissors now. My adopted daughter, you! I will kill you! Oh God! I'm not sure if the face portrait is meant to look like this way. Oh my God! Oh no! Huh. I guess I have to match the shit out of that. Okay. Okay. I'm just gonna mash a lot, I guess. Even though I'm not prompted. <laughs> Use the ham. Okay. Oh, my, 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 my. Okay, what's that? Okay. So now what do we do? Uh, can't rest up here or... Uh, I adopt a daughter! You! I'll kill you! Okay! <laughs> oh. uh. It's like a commando. <laughs> when Freddie Mercury gets stuck to the uh, electrical thing. <laughs> 
shit. Should I go back or? Well, now, uh... <laughs> so that's the clock tower? Cannon ending? Congratulations, Joel. Really? I, I I got a cannon ending? Really? But it, it, this time on the clock tower is almost like well, it's not. No, I was gonna say like, is that the real time? But you got the cannon ending, but not the best ending. Really? So so, huh? Well, I'm satisfied with getting a cannon ending that's like meant to be that way then. What's the difference on the the S ending at, at that point then? Uh, one other girl lives in the other ending. Oh, really? You got a cannon ending, an ending where you dropped. Uh, a good ending is when you stop playing Clock Tower for good. Uh, why don't you YouTube the endings? Uh, I might, I might, yeah. But anyway, the reason to get the the S ending is if you uh, get... You saw how I was picking up the stuff and I was like, we can't pick up the bird and blah 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 and blah blah blah. You know, and that all contributed to getting the best ending in the game. Like very, very specific things. But, uh, you know, can, can I talk about what I thought about Clock Tower so far? Or, well, the game. I, if there's not ending credits beyond this, you know. Um, really enjoyed it. I, really, I didn't understand the story fully. So, basically, Mrs. Mary adopted these, these girls into the house just to kill them? But was it just to feed feed the giant like demon baby? Yeah. I guess. But surely she could have like you know called like <laughs> I don't know a cafeteria and be like, "Yo, you guys do catering." <laughs> I don't know, man, but, but, uh... Baby's gonna eat fresh meat. Okay, yeah, uh, well, uh, <laughs> used to ham, yeah, yeah. Well. But, uh, pretty interesting game. I wonder what that, what that ending was. How, how, if I go to ending list, here we go. Uh, B, I got a B. Okay, well that that's not bad. That's not bad. And I could have got an H ending, you know. <laughs> but actually, uh, the Tim Curry ending you saw yesterday was one of those. But uh, but that's a that's a lot of endings, man. Anyway, that's that's that. Uh, let's let's check out what the uh, the S ranking ending looks like. Okay, hang on. Uh, That's my own YouTube channel. Okay. This one's pretty good. It has all the endings here. Okay. But I really enjoyed Clock Tower. I, I think the only thing that was bad about the game, in my opinion, was like the kind of convoluted way the the, the, the hallways look, because they all look the same. If they had a 
if there was a better way of navigating and like realizing where the fuck you were it would have worked a little bit better but uh it was a lot of like going back and forth of like where is this you know and that not that that killed the game for me but i'm like um uh, i wish it had a more like sense of uh, individuality to each to each hallway so you would know where it would be because the, the the map isn't included in the game so you know but uh i i really enjoyed it i really really enjoyed it but uh, i just wish if it didn't have that 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 hallway shit that was just so so convoluted but uh hang on what about the controls eh, i thought the controls were fine you know it had that kind of pac-man to look look thing going on for it but i, I enjoyed it I'm, I'm glad i finally got to play clock tower though um do you think this was not released in the west because they thought like americans would hate the kind of slow burn like the game is all right anyway there we go here's the best ending It's basically the same. I guess the, the person has to glitch too. Huh. Oh, well, okay. So one of the girls is alive at that point. Oh, the birds! The birds! Okay. Maybe that's what you needed the ham <laughs> to feed the birds. The ham birds. <laughs> Bird up. Okay. All right, so. So the the ending of that game at that point is just okay. That that's that, and I guess you okay. Okay, it, it, it's just the same thing. Oh, hang on, what's this? This is Mary. My son is dead because of you. And then uh, Bobby, Bobby, she's the one who killed Dan. <laughs> Bobby, who's Bobby? <laughs> I'm okay, dead. <laughs> okay, so I, I get okay. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> okay. So, so wait, the demon baby and sister man was called Bobby and Dan? <laughs> okay. Dan is the sister man. Dan the sister man? Sister man is Bobby, demon baby is Dan. Okay, it's the opposite. Okay. Huh. Interesting. And the worst ending is, of course, uh, the... Oh, you can just get killed in the elevator, too. Okay. Uh... Oh, shit, you can just go into the elevator and immediately just die. Oh. And so Jennifer turned to the orphanage. <laughs> she was discovered in the room three days later. And this is the one with Tim Curry where you escape in the car. 
And then, uh, you know, yeah. <laughs> well, there we go. Anyway, that's Clock Tower. Um, th I guess that really does, like, make the last of the Seven Days of Spooky games, even though it's, like, post-Halloween, but, but, uh, yeah, uh, pretty cool to finally play Clock Tower. I, I, I definitely could see playing it again. I think, in a way, playing the game, uh, to an audience is, is a detriment to the game's enjoyment, because, like, it's a kind of a slow burn, and you really need to be in the mood to kind of enjoy that kind of, uh, atmosphere and the more people that are like around you playing it i guess that kind of fucks up the atmosphere a little bit because it's meant to like just be you alone in the clock tower and that make, makes it scary and when we're here like talking about pizza it's like less scary but it's still not like an unenjoyable game but i can definitely see like next time when i'm playing it alone it is generally like like frightening because you know the game has a lot of just little different things that can happen and that that makes it scary because it's unpredictable which i really like but i might play the the playstation one version for a spooky saturday at some point because i want to see what the difference is there but uh yeah anyway very very cool game very very cool game i know there's a little bit of a fucked up story behind this game as well apparently this game was haunted during development quote unquote right um and the game was like slightly um like in development hell or something like that because like some game developer died during the uh during the development of this and the, the like the team behind it they were like afraid to develop on because they, they thought it was like haunted or some shit uh so that's that's a little bit of a weird story you know but uh yeah crazy crazy um yeah anyway clock tower everybody i uh, i would definitely say that um if you're gonna play this game probably play it uh with a spoiler free walkthrough because a lot of that stuff is just um it's a little hard to navigate with these things and that's why we had to do this in two streams but um yeah I, I really enjoyed it i really really enjoyed it well i hope you guys enjoyed the collection of seven days of spooky games because it's officially over now maybe next year we'll do alone in the dark but i feel it's a little too late for do, to do that right now but i really enjoyed it i hope you enjoy the variety this year maybe next year we'll do uh uh, as I said, Little in the Dark, I kind of want to do another game that's like, you know, in a similar vein of Clock Tower. But uh, a lot of fun. Halloween is always fun, even though it's kind of over now. But uh, yeah, uh, very, very fun to do. And I hope that you got pretty spooked. Maybe. <laughs> but I'll tell you what we should do before we end. Sam, this is Spooky Games. We're doing it the way we... Began. Tim Curry, take it away. No. How, how do I like? Oh no! Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Oh, no. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> One last time for Halloween. <laughs> okay, I lied. Last time. Last time. Oh, uh, fuck this part. <laughs> okay. Well, everybody. Spice. Well, that's Seven Spooky Games. See you next year for more scary stuff, I guess. Anyway, uh, you knew it. Well, you knew it. I guarantee. All right, anyway, I'm going to be right back with Spelunky Death Roulette. Don't go anywhere. More games coming up. All that shit. And yeah. You know it.